we got to take a family, so we got our brother Naila. He came <laughs> all the way from Nashville, Tennessee, right, yes, sir. to see the family. And uh, yeah, we're so happy to, to, to see him in London. Yes, he sir. With the family. And he's going to share his little, uh, small testimony as to how he came to Christ and how's the, how the videos help, obviously helped him in his journey to Christ. So he's going to give you more, more of his testimony. So yeah, hear him out. So big up, Naila. Take yes, sir. Family. Well, anyways, just like my little boy here and my yeah. baby, we was raised in church. Okay. From we was born and raised in church and okay. slept under the pews, but okay. you can be raised in church and still not really truly know the Lord. Right. Just kind of be told, you know, yeah. what to do. And and as I become a man, I got older and older, and I started to think. I started getting a lot of questions. Okay. And the older I got, I started getting my early twenties, and I had a lot of hard questions. I started listening to people like Richard Dawkins and Christopher Hitchens and all the big time atheists. Right. And uh. They started giving me questions and doubt of <laughs> things I've never been asked before. Okay. So um, what I started doing is I started asking questions because it rocked my faith hard. And I started going to family and people that were respected in the church that I would go to and come to find out they didn't have no answers. They would just pat me on the shoulder and tell me to pray for me and, and just, just keep on looking, but not really give me no direction to go to. Right. So what I started doing was going in my own direction, and I would run into people and have little crossfires with, uh, you know, Muslims, Jehovah's Witnesses, and I ran across a Jehovah Witness that tied me in knots, bad, <laughs> and uh, so it made me start studying and doing my homework on my own because I wasn't getting any help, you know what I mean, from the churches I was going to, which was a shame. And the more I started studying, uh, I ran across Bob the Builder, man, who has really, really been a huge, huge ministry in my life. The Lord's really used him. And I would listen to him crossfire. I would listen to his arguments and his style of his uh, debate tactics. And, uh, and anyways, I would listen. It's not so much the debate tactics. Somebody could be a solid debater, but not have a logical argument. What was solid about Bob that blessed me is he was a solid debater and he had a solid argument and, and, and uh, it really ministered to me. So the Lord started using me uh, over in America, you know what I mean? And uh, started putting a boldness into me, in other words, to go out and, and just instead of throwing water into the well, because my first debates was amongst Christians, was amongst just differences we had. And I heard Bob say, he said, instead of causing division about secondary things, he said, you know, if you have the foundation, like the number one thing I need to think needs to be defended is the doctrine of the Trinity. And so uh, I would focus on that with my brothers and sisters and just start ministering to people who rejected the doctrine of the Trinity. Jehovah Witnesses, Mormons, you know what I mean, and, and any other atheists, whoever, Muslims. And uh, so anyway, where I'm at now is I'm still studying. And another part of, you know, my testimony was instead of me coming to uh, people today that I respected and didn't have no answers, I started looking back to the early church. I started looking to the early church fathers, looking at, you know, students of the apostles and, and trying to get back as early as I could to see what they taught. And what I found out is they taught Jesus Christ as God Almighty in, in the flesh. And uh, so anyways, so I'm here today in, uh, <laughs> in, in Speaker's Corner and I've looked at it as my family over here. and. Uh, so anyways, we're getting ready to head out, so I never got a chance to meet Bob, but Bob, I love you, my brother. Wonderful, thank you. Thank and, you. Uh, so yeah. Before you go, what is your, um, at first glance, what's your opinion of Speaker's Corner? I mean, do you have like, something similar to this in the States? Or? Not really. I think America needs more boldness uh, over here than, than we got over there, because you will get Christians that almost have, we good? It's Christians that's got more of almost, I hate to say it this way, you've got really solid people like Jeff Durbin and those guys that are very, they'll go out and, and preach the truth with boldness. But then you've got other people that if they're going to get the street, it's almost, we we'll call it like a bumper sticker Christianity. Like just everybody's in love and we're all in, everybody's invited. Just, yeah, no matter what you believe, just, you know what I mean? And some, like I said, the core doctrines are, are essential. And like I said, if you reject the uh, Trinity or Jesus Christ as deity, then you're not a Christian, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? And that's, that's how we stand. And, we need more of this. Obviously, some of these people is crazy out here, but uh, yeah. It is, crazy. It is challenging. I mean, we are in a spiritual, this is a spiritual warfare. A hundred percent. And we don't, we need like strong, you know, Christians. Well, I've watched. I mean, I've been here. This is my first time here. Okay. I've been here for maybe thirty minutes. I've watched somebody knock this guy's thing over. Yeah. I watched one fella sling water on the other one. 
It is. It is crazy, brother. So at least a brother Naila, thank you for your testimony. Thank you so much, Mr. May JC. Keep on blessing you and your family and keep strong in the faith. We're here to support you. So whenever you want to reach yes, out sir. to us, you know, I'm, I'm going to be exchanging my numbers with you. When yes, sir. My email, so we're going to be in touch. But bless you, Naila. I want to say, uh, too, thank all of you for your ministry. Uh, it has reached across the world, and like I said, it definitely reached me in a time where I really needed to be blessed and, and, and ministered to and, and, and given some arsenal for, for my... Uh, exactly. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. God bless you.